name is Ben, aka Downsize It, and I am joined today by Social General Rob Hello. and Buster, aka Banshee. Hello. And today, Buster and I will be facing off while Rob gets to be a partial observer because he will be assisting Buster as yes. well. Mentor. Yes. Strategic advisor. <laughs> and we uh, set up a. Buster and I both love the Imperium, the Empire, and. So we are going to be doing a post Endor battle where we are two different Imperial factions, um, commanders, moths, whatever, and we are fighting over supremacy of now the fractured empire that has happened. And for I'll, when I go over the fleets in mission, we'll go over in detail more of what the, the fleets are and what the mission specifics are, but we're doing one that we've never done before, the uh, Doom Station. And playing with the gravity rift, which is uh, an obstacle we've never played with before. And the narrative of this is that there is valuable intel on this station that we both want. Yes. That, and, and whoever controls that will get a leg up in this intermissing, however you put it. Something like that. Something like that. Right. <laughs> Interfaction fighting that is happening. Whoever can get the data off the new station will have the advantage. So we are fighting over this. Uh, basically, it's. Sloan versus Ramadi. They have splintered into their own factions mm -hmm. after Endor, and we will see who can come out on top. Now, can we talk a little bit about the intel? It's on the station, it's so important. Yes. So, what is the number one limiting factor when it comes to Imperial fighters? Uh, they're, you know, slow. Or not slow, but they're slow. Like, but they're like weaker. Fragile. 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 They, need, yeah. they don't we have shield. Many of them. We have the so. entire Imperium yeah. to produce. Fighters. So we can yeah. manufacture fighters right. for, yeah. for days. Yes. Our yes. limiting factor is pilots. Oh, yes. They yes. either they keep on jumping over to the rebellion, or yes. just yes. training them. Just, just, you know, it takes skill. a lot longer to grow a pilot yeah. yes. than it does to build a, a, a kite. Yes, it does. And, and so what we found, we found a, a new uh, clone that we think mm -hmm. that is an improvement mm -hmm. from the, the, the clones from the New Republic. Well, those clones were horrible, not as good as real human troopers. Yeah, so troopers are far superior. Far, far superior. So, but we found yeah, a well. new clone, which we think will support. And, and I, we have one, one of the prototype clones is right here. I want you to meet our prototype clone. Right. And uh, we think this will be a great pilot. Oh, you want to see? Oh, yes. yes. A Tribble. They, we yeah. can produce Tribbles at almost the same rate as we can produce fighters. So I think we might need to, uh, this might be a, a mission to where Ramadi uh, has realized that Sloan has gone insane. Kind of your side, and he needs to, uh, he's trying to get this intel so that not only does it not fall into Sloan's hands, he can then destroy it for all in good times. Because this gravity rift that we're fighting over is apparently an interdimensional rift. Yes. And who knows, there might be some Klingon ships coming through at any moment. Mm -hmm. So There's a little Klingon here. Yeah. Whoa, hey, don't stare. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly, exactly. So, uh, now that we've uh, collectively um, blown all of y'all's OCD minds with this cross factionalized, as well as ours. cross sci fi universe um, heresy that just happened, <laughs> um, the Inquisition is calling, mm -hmm. we will get on with it. Coming <laughs> up next will be the fleets and the mission. And after that, you'll see Buster and I deploying in a sped up overlay as we discuss our strategy and tactics in the pre game interview. For the Imperials, under General Ramadi, we have him on an Onager class Star Destroyer with Intel Officer, Weapons Battery Techs, Sensor Team, XI 7s and orbital bombardment particle cannons. We then have two Architans command cruisers with slave turrets, and a Gazanti cruiser with the suppressor title and expanded hangar bay. For Ramadi's squadrons, we have five TIE defenders. For Sloan's Imperial forces, we have her on an ISD Psy Moon refit with the relentless title, Minister Tua, Reinforced blast doors, boarding teams, XX9 turbo lasers, and spinal armament. 
a Quasar Fire 1 with the Squall title, Taskmaster Grint, Flight Controllers, Reserve Hangar Deck, and Boosted Comms, and a Gazanti Cruiser with the Vector title, an Iden Versio, Repair Cruise, and Reserve Hangar Deck. For Sloan Squadrons, we have Howrunner, Mauler Mythel, Suntir Fell, Tempest Squadron, Saber Squadron, two TIE Interceptor Squadrons, and two TIE Phantom Squadrons. For missions, we didn't do normal mission selection this time. I wanted to keep it relatively narrative and just go with the station missions. Um, and decided to ultimately for Doom Station and let Buster have the choice of being first or second, and he chose second. I know that's not the normal way you do things, but we wanted to, to just keep this more of a narrative mission selection that we're fighting over some sort of outpost, Imperial outpost that we want control over in this post-Endor civil war between the Empire factions. And with Doom Station, we'll have the gravity rift in the center and Buster will get to place the station last. And at the end of every round, starting with Buster, we alternate picking an obstacle to move distance 1 to 2 towards the gravity rift. Once it hits the rift, any obstacle will, that hits it will be removed, because it gets sucked in. And at the end of every round after movement has happened with the obstacles, whoever has a ship closest, uh, whoever has the most command value, I should say, at distance 1 of the station, will gain a victory token worth 20 victory points. So, coming up next, you will see Buster and I deploying in a sped up overlay while we discuss our strategy and tactics in the pre game interview. Okay, so now that you have seen the fleets and the mission, you'll see Buster and I deploying here, about right here, in a sped up overlay. And. Buster, why don't you lead us off and talk about the design of your fleet and your strategy for this mission, etc. Well, uh, luckily, I did see an Onager in action just before the COVID. And <laughs> so, so uh, Admiral Sloan has some idea about the delayed nature of the weapon and also the extreme range of the weapon. And while I am traditionally a slow, methodical player, speed once, super fast for me, I'm going to go out of character in this game, mm -hmm. and I'm coming in, I'm screaming fast. I, the only ship that's slow was my uh, Gazanti, because I didn't want to tip my hand that I was going to come screaming in fast when I put my first ship out. But, uh, but yeah, so we're, we're screaming at him. Might work, might not. I really suspect that my carrier's going to be short to live. Uh, and that's a shame. But uh, I'll see if I can get some hits in before it fouls. Right. That's my, that's my dream. Uh, <laughs> I have a dream. So, uh, with that, yeah, I'm going to try to get in quick, fast, try to get under the guns and outside the main arc of that monitor hit the sides, knock out the support ships. Uh, I can tell you that I don't know if I'll succeed, but it's probably, it, it, I think it's the best move I have, and we'll see how the game unfolds, but I do not think that I can concentrated all on the squadrons. They're going to come in, destroy my, my fighters, but I just hope that they get shots on the ships before. And we'll see what happens after that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm uh, concerned. I mean, I, I had a feeling this was going to happen. And I see, I see deployment um, coming up. We'll see the order of how things went down. I was massively out deployed as far as uh, movement sinks are concerned. And so I knew there's not much I could do about it. So I wanted to set up my onager in a way where I could react and have a, at least have a decent angle. But this is one where I don't think I'm ever going to get a shot on the side move. And it's one of those where I don't even know if I even want to try to kill it. Because I don't know if it's even worth putting shots on it. Uh, my Architans, I haven't decided where they're going yet. They're going to be my flankers. Um, not sure which flank I want them going to yet, though. <laughs> and, uh, oh, there's plenty of them up there. But it depends on what flank I want them to go to. Because if they go up near the edge of the board, that means they're going to be tamed with Simon, and Simon can drop them um, pretty easily, especially if they get in medium range and I can't cancel dice. But they um, 
can do work, especially in groups. I've seen it done on other bat reps, and I just need to figure out how to fly them because they have a weird maneuver profile. But my primary target is the carrier and the gazanti. And because if I can drop the carrier, especially the carrier quickly, that'll neuter almost half of your ability to move your squads. And we were talking about this before the game. Whoever can get the first strike in, I think, will have an advantage in the squad game. Right. But we have to position properly. And you know, when do we do that strike? Because if I can get my defenders in quick, I mean, his squads are very deadly, but they're also you know, out of paper compared yes. to my defenders. And my defenders, I could potentially do one defender, one squad kill as I roll through them. But it's okay, they're piloted by triples. Yes, piloted by triples, so they're, they're just, you know, they're meant to go out and die. And, you know, as Buster said, his goal is he'd like to get at least some squad hits on my ships with Sloan to start spending defense tokens. My goal is to potentially try to lock up your squads and take them out before you can actually engage my ships and start getting Sloan benefits. Again, we'll see. We're both, we're both going to be... I don't know. I'm not sure how Buster's going to run his squads, but my, it, I feel like we're both going to be kind of like sitting around the corner with a brick and waiting. <laughs> and who's going to make the first move? And it's, uh, yeah, so that's the, the squad game is actually going to be very important in this one because if I don't lock his squads down and he can just start spinning away my defense tokens, especially ones that I really need to survive against the side moon hits, that could be a massive problem. And the other way around, if I can wipe out his squad so no more locking them down, pretty much it just comes down to the assignment to do all the work. Mm -hmm. Okay, fine. And so I'm not good at piling captain ships, so that's going to be interesting. Uh, that's where my mentor here will oh, <laughs> yes. come in. Yeah, mm -hmm. a really good mentor. <clears throat> you have to remind me of these weird things like spine up, spine gun, spinal, spinal, spinal arm, arm, spinal yes, yes, arm, yes. yeah, whatever, yeah, I, yeah. or fire <laughs> gun. I've done the four yeah. 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 <laughs> I don't know what it does. We'll find out. Yeah. So. Yeah, right. So, and then as far as the mission is concerned, uh, I, th I think we're both, I mean, I think it's kind of a cool idea to have to chase the station to get mm. tokens, but I, I think both of us <laughs> might actually end up ignoring it. And if we get a Gertie token here and there, great. Yep. So, I think, I think that's a good idea. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm a very big objective person, as you saw in the last battle I fought in. Yeah, all right. In this one, I look at 80 points versus the fleet. Um, if I go after that station, uh, uh, the will just destroy us and leave us. Right, yeah. Because by now you guys should be seeing it. My auditor is pointing to where the station is going to be going. So yes. if Buster wanted to chase the station, I'd be, please, please do. chase the station. I love, but I don't think that's happening. I think Buster is going to go around to my my left flank, his right flank, and uh, come into the side of the auditor and take it out. So I'm going to have to. Get as much out of the honor as I can before that happens, because there's nothing I can do to stop it. That Simon's coming at me, speed three, and I, there's nothing I can do to prevent him from getting anything. So, and then Ramadi's going to help you with um, if he gets close out of the station, because Ramadi doesn't have to worry about obstructions at all, and if the station doesn't come with obstruction, Ramadi, Ramadi, right. So it's going to be easier. Right. Well, I set it up. I mean, as you guys notice, I placed my honor gear right in front of the grid field right off the bat. Mm -hmm. So that. Uh, and I'll be using my own ships as obstruction as well. Yep. So that that the always has to be the challenge with the mod is to make sure that you have the obstruction get the benefit. Yep. But this will be an interesting one, and uh, both similar similar in a way, but also very dissimilar in other ways in the compositions. We have the two factions of the Fractured Empire now fighting off Sloan versus Ramadi. Who will come out on top, and who will have? The intel required to be able to breed these triple super soldier yes. pilots. So the true, <laughs> the true <laughs> daughters and sons of Vader. Yes, are, 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 are the triple. Yes, yeah. right. <laughs> All okay. right. Okay. Well, Buster and I will play in our dials, which I think we've already done. So we'll actually be back right now at the start of round one. Start of round one. Let's do some, uh, let you guys know what's going on as far as speeds. My Onager and Gazanti are starting at one. Both my Arkitans starting at two. And then the Simon and the Quasar are starting at three, and Buster's Gazanti is starting at two. Uh, Taskmaster Grint on the Quasar is taking a squad token. So when he does squad commands on the Quasar, he gets a free token. 
And then Buster is outnumbered four to three and second player, so he will get one pass token for the game. And starting off with the suppressor. It is a squadron command. I'm just taking a token and moving forward at one. So I revealed a squadron dial to the token, and I'm going to continue to go at speed three. And I'm doing a little zigzag. I call it the bin maneuver. I know everyone else does it too, but <laughs> I learned it from Ben. And little side shuffle. I want to, what I'm trying to do is just give a little room for my quasar to maneuver. Start with Arkitans number one. And as they navigate, speeding up to three, getting an extra click at the one. I guess this is going to be danger close to the Simon, but just hoping that he can't one shot me. So I went ahead, I revealed a maneuver, and I used the dial to slow the speed down to two. Then I used the squall's ability to move three squadrons. Out of the way, like clear out, and also further away from the enemy ships. I did try as I was doing this to uh, I think we're going to be one here. Yeah, you know, but actually, this one, so that one's going to move. It's not going to adjust it that much. No, it's not. No, it's not. And you're clear of the shield down. Clear so the shield. Yep. Yeah. So a little bit much. That's smaller. You just got shifted to the back there. Hey, going with my Mark Arkitans, same thing, it's a navigate, speeding up to three, taking an extra click at the one, following his buddy. Engineering, I took a token, for hopeful later use, if I'm still alive. And, doing the old click click. And I'm overlapping the, the, the station, so that I can get, um, and get some intel. Yeah. And maybe some intel here. Yeah. All right, then the Onager, it's going to be a navigate dial, and I'm dropping to speed zero and placing my mission token at the furthest range I can, at long range, because I have the orbital bombardment cannons. Uh, next up will be squad phase. It's just going to be movement, no attacking, so we'll just do that off screen. And also the shifting of all of this debris and stuff, we'll do that off screen. I'll just kind of give you a recap at the start of round two. Starting round two, give you a recap of where things went. Dramati's defenders moved out here to form not really a wall, but a line. They're all within range of the Gazanti. Gazanti can't get all five, but it can get four of them when needed. The, as you can see, their ignition token is in close range of Vector, medium range of the Quasar. And you'll notice, in anticipation of this, the splash damage of the orbital bombardment cannon, Sloan squadrons basically scattered, getting away as best they can from the, the potential splash damage coming in. Buster also gained a victory token because his Gazanti is still within distance one after all the moves, and you notice all the moves, are just, they're just all moving in um, to be gobbled up by this gravity rift. Oh, by the way, the, the force, this is Sloan, she christened this force she put together. It is Sloan's Celestial Sojourners. <laughs> Say that three times fast, everybody. <laughs> okay, we will be starting with my unmarked Architans. It is a Navigate, and I'll be taking a long range side to front into the Quasar. Unfortunately, it is not obstructed, so no bonus dice, but it is still going to be my Slave Turks giving me an extra right, hit. So starting with three reds, coming into the front. Oh, that's a pretty good start. Yeah, that's a pretty good start. One yeah, and then adding one red from uh, Slave Turks. Ooh. Okay, and I will stop. Do I want you to take it all, or do you want to drop your front shields? I think I want to drop your front shields, because bracing to two is not that big a deal. Just one. So I'm going to take shields down to one, so... Down to zero. You only start with two on the front. The bracing. Oh, I thought it was only one. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, I would have to brace it down. Yeah, otherwise you would take a face-out yeah. damage card. Yeah. And there's nothing else I can do with this one. Correct. Yeah. So, yep. Race to two and shields go down to zero on the front. 
Okay, and then using my dial to get an extra click at the one and getting out of this side moon close range for an arc. And it's just like, yeah, full speed. <laughs> full speed in it. Okay, so, so I activate, uh, I'm, there was a debate off camera as to whether we move the carrier or the Gazantes, which could easily die here, or go ahead and activate the side moon while it has a shot. Because as soon as this thing moves, it's going to move outside of its arc. So we're going to go ahead and take the big shot. It uh, revealed concentrate fire. So base is five right at long. It's got these things, these spinal guns, spinal armor. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> Tells me it's another red. I'm like, wow, that's yeah. nice. Yes, I like that. Yeah. And and then plus, um, I get to throw another one in with concentrate my fire. concentrate fire. So this arc could be in seven, seven bad shape. So, so I have five holes, two shields. Yeah, and these, the oh, these are my tokens. Oh, shoot. Yeah. This is the one I don't like, so I need right. at least one yeah. to lock it down. Because at this range, I can cancel two if I discard it, because you're a larger ship yeah. than me. So I need to lock that down, and then that thing there is, um, you stop. Uh, contains a... But that's worthless, crit. because you have a specialty crit, so it does me no good. And everything else is just moving stuff around yeah. the ship. Right. So, which, is, which is still pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. Right. So, Okay, here goes the first six dice. We'll Starting six. Can we re roll that in there? Wait, well, oh, no, it's alright. I'll just. So, you know, because this is already. You already got your accuracy. You got some doubles. This is looking really bad for me. Okay. <laughs> oh. Two okay. accuracies, and then you get to add in a red. Concentrate fire. Okay, Alright, so. Wow. We're going to lock down. Okay, well, I mean, we know we're definitely going to lock down. That. Yeah, getting two exercises is kind of just a cruel joke. You'd want a three if you wanted to be yeah. super efficient, or just only have one. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, oh, and I did get a crit, so I get to use this cards thing, right? Yeah, so if it goes internal, XX9 should be going off. Yeah. Yeah. That's if it goes internal, okay. Yeah, if it goes internal. Yeah. So, seems to me that I want to walk down just, yeah, just pick one of those, all right. So it actually will be going internal, because even though I get a redirect, I'm taking six damage. I'll redirect to my back shields. Um, but that means I take two internal, and they're both face up, because I have six knots. And that's going to be injured crew. I have to choose and discard one of my defense tokens to put the face down, which will be the contain, because that's not going to do me any good against you. Comms noise. Oh. Uh -oh. This is good for you. You can, eat, you can choose what my top dial is, or you can reduce by speed by one. Wow. Yeah. Every turn? No, no just, 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 just now. Just right now. You can change my, this is what my command is going to be, or you can reduce my speed down to two. So, I think the dial will be more important. But all you use is speed, that way it's going to go for it, or up speed. You only go back up to what you have. Yeah. Instead of the next yeah, I mean, the thing is, we'll if it is a maneuver, it doesn't matter. I slow him down, and he's got a dial and goes back up. And he gets his own dial. Yeah. So, dial. It is a navigate. Yeah. What would you like to change it to? Uh, let's see. Mm. Uh, it's tough. There's actually no bad one for me, though. No. no, there's no bad one. There's no bad one. What is your engineering? My engineering is three. So, I could heal my damage card. Yeah, eight damage card. Actually, I don't know if I want to change it. What is your squadron? Though? Why would I change it? I mean, your squadron. Two. Yeah, these are the commander. I really don't want him to get on that. Two. I'm going to give him double fire. Yeah. It's better engineering. Because solar gets one card off. Well, the squadron actually not too bad. It forces it to, force him to consider moving to this one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where I could jump. Yep. Which I would rather jump this squadron. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, there you go. Okay. So I should hit the squad command for my marked command architect. I'm just going to go straight ahead and see what happens. Um, oops, looks like I, I accidentally hit that ship. Yes, it my was an accident. My imperial flying right? is not yes, that yes. good, so I'll have to back it up here to my two. Yep. And uh, lock that in there. And then we just take it face down. You take it face down. Arkansans number six has only two health remaining. All right, we're going to go with my marked Arkansans that is damaged. It is a squadron, courtesy of Buster. I decided to use 
just uh, one of my uh, squadron command ability to grab the defender that was here. Coming up here to throw a bombing shot into the front of Vector. And I do have barely an arc and also barely yellow dot to yellow dot into the side of Vector as well. Unfortunately though, it is a clear shot. Nothing is obstructing, so still no Ramada yet this game. <laughs> All right, starting off with the defender shot into the front. It is a hit. Yeah, you just hit into the front? Into the front. Yeah. Nothing you can do about that, right? You could spend your evade to have me re-roll it. To uh, make me happy? That, that, that's why you could do that. Yeah. <laughs> we're good friends then, but we're playing again. Yes, we are. <laughs> we are competing, competing here. You want normal trip. Alright, side to side, starting with three red. Then slave turrets. Very nice. Stop the scatter. So since we're the same size, you can't burn it to do two effects with your evade, but you can spend your evade to cancel one dice because it's long range. Cancel one dice. Yeah. And how many? Three's coming in. So the best you can do is cancel one dice. You'll take one on the shield and then one face up. Um, okay. How are you using her then for the cancel one dice? No, this is just normal. At long so range, she, she, then she lets you cancel dice at close range. Close, yeah. When you resolve the defense effect, you can cancel one dice at close range. Or just yeah. Yeah. Yeah, she makes it to where evade ships are very survivable at close range. Yeah. Well, yeah. Um, I'll, I'll use it. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, cancel one, yeah. then one on the shield, and one face up. Yeah, it is the side. Yep. What is the face up? Is it nasty or just bad? Thruster fissure. If you change your speed by one or more, you suffer damage. Yeah, not having <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I don't have my maneuverability, but I'm going to risk this. Hopefully, I don't ram here. Oh, Imperial mm -hmm. Flying. Imperial Flying. Well done. Yep, superior Imperial Pilots over Rebel Pilots, Separatist Republic, superior all the way. Admiral Sloan does do a salute. Yes. <laughs> okay, so I activate the Gazenti next. They, they have a uh, squadron token, and so we can activate two squadrons. So the first squadron I activated. So before the squad happens. Oh, yes, before that happened, yes, I used the token. The token. Uh, from the repair crews to repair this damage that yep. I think you just yep. you know, hang on, probably me, you might not have been able to do item yet. Hang on, let me check item mm -hmm. this card real quick because you might have to spin the dial instead of doing a squad command. I think it just yep, no, you can just do it. Yep. yep so he's also doing item because he knows that the Gazanti is going to die. Right. And gave uh, my unmarked Architons mm -hmm. a navigate raid. And then, so for the first squadron activation, I activated a uh, TIE interceptor. And they went over here and they're going to shoot at those TIE defenders. Now, with Sloan, what is it? Um, well, Sloan's not going to help you on this one because I don't have any defense tokens. And you only get to reroll crits when you're attacking okay. ships with Sloan. Okay, no. Yeah. Sloan doesn't help. And I don't have any fight controllers here. No, no. Right. Yeah, and you don't have Swarm yet because you don't have any friends over there helping. Right, right. So I don't get a reroll. So oh, oh, wow. You are locked down. Locked down for one damage. Yep. <laughs> that is great. Troubles are firing well. Yes. Reach the firing stud. Now, the other person you could grab is Sue Tierfell. That's on the uh, front left of the little squad ball you see there by the quiz. That was the other one range. So I yeah. just want to see if you want to send Sue Tier in or not. Yeah, do I want to? I mean, he's got a counter too, which is nice. And he does have swarm. So. Yeah, so he'll be able to come in and get a reroll at least. You're not going to be able to kill the defender though. Mm -hmm. But if you get the defender down to one, you could then flack and try to yeah, kill the defender. Yeah. And he does come in with four. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so still just four. Yeah, four blue, but you get to reroll one of them now that you have the swarm benefit. Let's not have to reroll. Uh, ooh, okay, so two matter. Yep, two hits. And this one doesn't matter. And this one I can reroll. Yep. 
Very accurate. Two down to three, so. Right. A furious battle going on right now. The defenders are. Okay, so now you decide we want to move the design. So you don't have a slide shot. Oh, you don't have a slide shot, actually. Because oh, right, it's obstructed, the station. Yeah, yeah. that's your allowed to be obstructed. Right. You so I do have front to side. You, you could do front to side, or you could flat, or you could do front to front into the wounded artifacts. But I have shields there. I can't get front to side. Uh, let's see if you. You actually might have angle. My angle is very narrow. Yeah. You do have front to side. Yeah, you're not crossing the black line. Uh, no, it's a blue die. No, blue. Oh, it's a blue? Blue die. Yeah. Yep. It's medium range. Okay. Thank you. I'll take it. Yep. I would not go to question. <laughs> so this is uh, so it's my, one, blue my, one blue die, my unshielded side. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> Hmm? Stone does not help with ships, only spots. Yeah. Yeah. This is the exactly. Yep. Yeah. No, you're not military. Okay. And it's a hit. Yeah. And I am not going to have you re-roll that. <laughs> so I'll just redirect to my front to take one shield off the front. Okay. Wow. Uh, let's see. So we're going to go put that out of the way. Imperial flying. Yep, that's right. Superior Imperial. We just need to stop fighting each other and work together exactly. to reestablish the empire. Yes, but not in the kind of first no, order. No, no order. No order. Empire. Empire. Yes. Under the command of Grand Admiral Thrawn. Exactly. But we'll just uh, save yeah. that for later. Yes. Okay, going with the suppressor. It is a squadron command, and using my token that I have to activate four. Starting off with the defender that was here. He's flying up here. I'm going after Suntir. Because I can target him right now, it might be worthwhile to get him off the board. And Sunter cannot be rezzed by a reserved hangar deck, so... See if I can't get a cheeky kill off one of Buster's aces here. And I'm going to do this one at a time because depending on how fast I kill Sunter, or if I kill him, I might throw some cheeky bombing shots into the front of... Alright, starting off with two blue, two black. One hit so far. And what can I do about that? You can scatter it or take it. Uh, no, I can scatter. Uh, yeah. I think I'm going to wait because there'll be a lot more damage in there. Yeah. So I'll take. Well, he's only a type of shot. He only has three health. Yeah, that's right. But then yeah. you can't can raise it, obviously. Right. You can't scatter it, but something like that. But the same thing is, it's going to get to the point where, well, oh. burden the hand worth two in a bush. Mm -hmm. No, it is. You're right. I mean, he can do, what can you do, uh, max, on those dice? The maximum so, potential would be four damage. four damage. I could do one accuracy and three damage is the perfect hit to stop your scatter and then you brace the two. Mm -hmm. And that would kill me. Kill you. In the future. So, I'm going to scatter no damage. Okay. Next defender coming in, I'm going to be sending in the far right defender on your screen. Alright. Well, doesn't he have a counter? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah counter, two. counter two. Yeah. It's two blue. Two blue. And you get three roll one. You have some more. Two hits. Two hits. Alright. Then we're going to be paid for that one. And grab it over to the convey. Yeah. And that guy's just within range. Alright, next defender. Two blue, two black. Bunch of accuracies. No. Now that actually, I got, you didn't get you. Roll. But it's the perfect roll. Stop your scatter, and you will die if you don't brace it. Yeah. But. So I'll brace it down to two. So yep. Yeah. Yep. So yep. If, 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 you would, if you wouldn't have done that first one, now he would be dead. Yeah. Yep. So and then get to uh, counter back. back. And you still get the swarm. Yeah. One. Well, then you can oh, we one. roll. Yep. yep. Nope, still one. Very critical. <laughs> yes, so Sutra is down to one, so I'm going to send in my far left defender. He's going to come up onto the side of the Gazanti. Sneaky. 
one. Yeah. And an accuracy. Yeah. Isn't it the accuracy? You get an accuracy and a hit. So you no accuracy or hits. Got an accuracy and a hit. Yeah. yeah. So all I can do is two back at you. Yeah, two back at me. One. The swarm. Oh, gosh. Here we one. No. Oh, I know you have the whimper. That might be the first casualty. But it took three of them. It took three of them. Yeah. And then I am going to go ahead and send in my other defender. Um, it's not worth killing your tie at yet while well, you have this retainer deck. So he's just going to fly into the front with the Gazanti and just. If I can make you spend something. Or a crit. Yep. Oh, it's a bomber, isn't it? Yep. Oh. So. So just you know, he has an exhaust evade and a non-exhausted scatter. Yeah, so I can just scatter it. There's only one ship to shoot. Yeah. That's the other group. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. Yep. Scatter, no damage. All right. Yeah, moving at speed one. I'm just doing my full clicks here. Start coming in. Okay, so we build the carrier, and it is a squadron. Imagine that. Uh, of course. Uh, Grint gives me a token, which I'll immediately use to activate five squadrons. But before I did that, I did use my squall to move Hellrunner into position to support these shots. And then I went ahead and moved uh, Mahler, Mahler yeah. up because he's going to jump in the squadron phase. He'll be the only activation. Yep. And he's going to move in there into close into engagement range with whatever's left and, mm -hmm. uh, and do one point of damage to everything he jumps into. Uh, with that, then I also moved up uh, one other Tempest, the escort, yeah. Tempest Squadron, just, just to be close to how uh, for later movement. So, activating the actual squadrons on the squadron dial, my first one is a Interceptor. Saber Squadron. Or Saber Squadron, excuse yeah. me. Saber Squadron, I mean, using Snipe, it's going to shoot that one right there. Yep, nice long range snipe next to Howl Runner, yep. and gets a snipe six. This is an incredible snipe attack that you can do with Saber. All right, so starting with four dice, snipe four. Okay, very oh, accurate. Mate, this very is, accurate. You love these, you need to save these accuracies for your slow attacks on ships. I know. All right, then flight controller is blue dice. Yep. Oh, oh yes. Man. And then Howl Runner blue dice. Howl Runner blue dice. Oh, we got a hit. Yeah, we get three roll one, because he does have an interceptor nearby to the ship he's attacking. Wow. Yeah, I get to have reroll be different. Wow. That so, was one. So he, this defender only goes down to three. Yeah. I thought he was dead, to be honest. Oh, but, God. Yeah. Okay. Well, he might still be dead. You still got four more to bring in. Yep. Okay, so now I'm going to bring in the Saber Squadron. Saber Squadron. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to bring in the uh, second interceptor, or the, the main interceptor. Yep. So last generic interceptor, and he's in the back left of the quasar there between the two phantoms. And going after the same. Um, now, if you want, if you want the Howl Runner benefit, you need to make sure he's close to Howl Runner. Right, that's right. And close to Howl Runner. And same thing. Yep. So here's the first four dice. And one hit. Yay! That's a good start. Right. Yep. All right. Then flight controllers. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey, if and I control Howl this. Runner, just need one more damage to kill it. Come on, Howl Runner. No. And then Swarm. You got your buddy nearby. Oh. No. Nope. Nope. Okay. You're trying to do this as inefficiently as possible, Buster. Okay, so tribbles are not working. <laughs> <laughs> just talking, then. Just talking, then. Okay. And then first Phantom Squadron. Now, Phantom doesn't need to be near Howl Runner because he's not going to get her benefit anyway. Okay, so there's five dice. Yep. One hit. Okay. So start with four. Mm -hmm. And we just need one. And oh, no, yeah. Right. The Phantom pilots know how to yeah. at least do something. Right. And one is going to. Last Phantom is going after the Defender has five health. This is one that's on the front right of your screen there, guys. Okay. Start with four, and gets two. Yeah, and then get the. And they don't have swarm. They don't get swarm. Yep. So they and get. They get uh, uh, flight control. Flight control. Nope. So two. So he goes down to three. That defender. 
Okay, and I get one more activation. Yep. And I'm thinking it's going to be... You can do Tempest, Power Runner, or mm -hmm. Mother Mithril. Yeah. I'm going to wait for Mother Mithril, so it's going to be yep. Tempest. The Escort coming in, so I have to shoot at him. If I ever get to activate my squads again. <laughs> yep, yep, exactly. Right now. Tempest going after the same defender that has three health left. Starting with three dice. Come on, get three hits. It's not other. Oh, oh man. man. And then one uh, for flight controllers. Oh, come on. There we go. One, so it goes down to two. My goodness. Well, you're a. Uh, yeah. You know, the triples. It's Triples are not firing. Well. Basically, all of your pilots are offended that you decided to cross sci fi genres. <laughs> <what you're> <laughs> Okay. And then, now, uh, you have an option to flag yes, we'll go or do a front to side into my undamaged arc. We're going to go ahead and flag. Flag. So All right. it's, it's one blue. One, one blue. blue, so we'll go around the horn. So the defender has on two health. Yep. Let's see. Defender on two gets one more. Down to one, then we got the defender that's right next to him on two health. Gets one more. So two. Wow, that's good. And the defender that's directly in front of the player. Gets one. It's wow. Five. And that'll be it. And you cannot reach the right there. Yeah, that one's up. Yeah, at least you loaded your flat guns. Yes. So he's not going to speed two, but it is going to be a ram into the Gazanti. The Gazanti is going to take a face down. Yep. Which was planned. That was a planned Imperial move. Yep. Basically trying to keep the Quasar as far back from my ignition token as possible. Yep. And we ran over um, two regular interceptors and Howl Runner. Mm. And we'll go ahead and place the. The interceptor is in the back. Now, I don't want Howard or giving her benefits, but she, you can move her in the squad phase anyway. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Um, so, with that little speed one move, I was been waiting, waiting, waiting for the quasar to get within the close range of my token to try to take a quasar out. But by doing what. Uh, Buster did, he was able to, uh, actually, no, I'm not going to take the token. I take that back. I think I need to readjust. Oh, darn. Not taking the token. Um, but anyway, so anyway, no longer had arc on the front. I barely clipped the arc on the side, but then no line of sight because I'm clipping his, because of the extreme angle of the quasar's front arc, I'm clipping his line, so... I can't shoot at the Quasar now. The whole thing I was waiting for. <laughs> so the Quasar is going to live. So the Nizanti is sitting right on top of the token. So we're going to ignition over bombardment. And it is obstructed clipping this. I think still. Well, actually, maybe after you moved, you might have gotten out of obstruction. No, you got out of obstruction. So no obstruction. Still no Ramadi. Nice. Still no Ramadi happening. Yep. Yep. And then I will be doing a long range side to front into the side moon. Alright, so this is going to be effectively close range for my dice for the ignition shot. The actual range is long range. That's important for Buster's evade. That means he's not going to basically be able to discard this to cancel three dice, but he can still discard this to cancel two dice because it's long range and I'm a longer sh larger ship. So, getting three red, two blue, two black. And no accuracies yet, but I built this specifically. But I got exact. It's not going to matter. Yep. So I'm going to no. It's I, I've got him. So it's going to be sensor team. Discard this. Turn this into an accuracy. Yep. And then I will lock down the scatter. And even if you cancel the two worst ones, I'm still doing three damage internal. Yep. And three damage internal will kill. Will kill it. Mm -hmm. Yep. So Gazanti. It's blown to smithereens, and I am not choosing not to activate my uh, Oroma Barton crits because that will hit my own ships and my own squads. Even though I could, I have the red crits there. That would have actually, that shot would have actually killed the Quasar. I'm so frustrated that you got out of there. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been a Quasar again now. You can't do it again though. Next round. So, now for the. Side to front, long range, into the side moon, I get three reds. Wow. 
six damage, and I'm going to intel officer your brace. So if you spend your brace, you have to discard it. I have XI seven, so you can only redirect one damage. Is it one damage per redirect? No. No. Just. Or you can only do one redirect. Yeah. No. Unless you have advanced projectors, but you don't. So you can only redirect one damage. Plus six. Yeah. It'll be five next level. Yeah. If you don't decide to discard your brace. Wow. That's that was extremely fortuitous. That's ideal. <laughs> that was ideal. Yeah. That's ideal. That is bad. That takes, so that takes, that'd be one internal damage? Yeah, one face down if you, if you just spend a redirect and then do nothing else. It's not going to be any better. I get one, I get to add a black if he gets in closer and on my side. This is my ideal. Shooting at long range out the side with an Onager Star Destroyer variant is actually not bad. Well, let's uh, not burn it. I'll take the shields, take one on the side. Yep, one on the side with XI 7s, front shields go down and one face down. But saving the brace, the intel officer, Buster is resisting the temptation from the intel officer. Matt. So I'm using my dial to speed up to one, getting the extra click at the one to do a full swing around like so. I'm landing on this. Refield, I'm going to take my damage on my port shield or starboard shields so they go down. And then I get to place my ignition token. So, so I'm double check. All right, you're not getting out of my arc now, yeah. especially since I get to activate first. Yeah. <laughs> of course, the question is now I have such a beautiful shot in your sign moon. <laughs> Do I want to just blast your sign moon? That's the. I'm gonna, I want to give myself an option because I want to think about it. So as you guys you guys might not know about ignition tokens, you measure range 360. It doesn't matter if you're going backwards when you measure the range. So this ignition token is close range at the Simon and the Quasar. And as far as my dice are concerned that I gather. And uh, actually you guys can't see that. Let me show you where the, so that's where I place the ignition token. So I'm, I'm just going to choose at the start of round three if I want to just l hammer a shot into the Simon and ignore the Quasar again. Um, because then I then measure arc and line of sight from the cardboard to cardboard and his shields are down. So that's... Uh, I'm going to have some choices to make as, you know, in between rounds. And speaking of in between rounds, that's actually the last ship to go. We're in the squad phase. The squad only, phase, yep. only that matters is... Mahler. Let Mahler come in and drop. Yep. Mahler's going to come in. And he can actually land and hit everybody. Yeah, I think I will yeah, actually. Yeah. I do. So he kills this defender. Yep. This defender goes down to one. Mahler doing his Mahlerness. Yeah. This defender goes down to four. This defender goes down to five. Then what? And they're all locked in the track. They're all locked. Oh, yep. Now, if you know where you want uh, Power Under to go, we can do that now, live. Yes. Unless you want to think about it. Uh, actually, I think Hell Runner wants to. Oh my. Yeah. Yeah, this is just going to be ugly. So she's going to get over to her friends over here. Yeah. And, well, shoot, she's going to take a damage. It is what it is. Yeah. Okay. All right, so that's it, guys. We'll be back at the start of round three. Start of round three. Yes, this is a... Oh, yeah, we did some Phantom Cloak moves as well. And I think I've made the decision to shoot at the Psy Moon. The front shield's down. I don't know if I can kill it. It is possible. It only has nine health left, and I have XI-7s. But at the very least, I can try to cripple it, and maybe hope that my Architons can take out the Quasar. And for those that care, an asteroid belt got sucked into the gravity wave. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I didn't get to Buster was... Got to pick first, pick the station, moved him out of distance one, so I did not get a victory token. No intel for my side. Okay, so I am going to go with the Onager. Of course, it is still a clear shot. Still no Ramadi happening. Um, it is a concentrate fire. 
Um, and then my ignition shot, I measure range from the token, it's close range, but then line of sight and arc this way, so it is going to be my full battery going into the unshielded front of the side. Alright, starting with three red, two blue, two black. That was a pretty terrible oh, roll. Buster got really lucky. That makes that really makes up really for the six damage. Buster. Yeah, that was very very lucky. Any rerolls? Did you reroll points? Nope. Did you add so, your? No, I'll do that here in a second. I have to decide my intel officer before I do any more adjustments. So, do I want to use my intel officer and on what? I am going to intel officer your contain. So if you spin that, you have to discard it. All right, now I'll add in my concentrate fire. I'll add in a black. There we go. And then I'm going to use sensor team, spend this dice to turn this into an accuracy. And then I will use weapon battery text to turn this into a crit. And then lock down your brace. It takes four, five damage. Five, yeah. And four will go internal if you spend a redirect because you can only move one. Do you have anything that causes off accurate? Oh no, your your contain would matter. Yeah. But, but but here's the thing is. Yeah. So I use it now, it's gone. Right, but here's the thing: you have to make the choice to use that before I make the choice on the crit I'm going to use. So I can either do the standard crit to give you face up damage. Or I could use my super weapon crit to do um, the splash effect, mm -hmm. which would hit your quasar to do two damage on your quasar. I might think that might be worthwhile. Yeah, I don't well, know. that's going to hit all the things, too. Yeah. That is my defenders. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure about the. Yeah. That's Imperial. Yeah. Um, but I think that's what I. Because you're going to do that anyway. You can do that anyway, right? Yeah. But I could, if you oh. like, if you don't spend that contain, I might choose just to give you a face up damage then. Right. So either way, it's basically. Yeah. Yeah, I think I would do it. Yeah, there's no no way I'm going to do it. So burning this. Yep, so that you're definitely not taking a face up damage card. Yep. Okay. And so with that, uh, I can move one. Yep. Those are my XI sevens. Yep. So, so I'll take three damage internal. Four damage. Well, one goes to a shield. Oh, yeah. You want yep. Yeah. 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 So four damage internal. Yep. Do I do the credit or the. Yeah, this is yeah, So one. Well, I'll, actually, I guess order. So then you spent your. Thing. So now I choose which critical effect I want. I'm not okay. choosing the non-standard. I'm okay with taking the splash damage. Right. So we've resolved that first. This will do this in the right order for everybody. Yep. Right. So splash damage. Um, I'm going to take one damage on this interceptor here that's behind the side moon. I might not actually hit your quasar. So the close up be blasted. No. Not the other guy. So quasar takes two damage, which you can take on the shields. Okay, good. So it has to be on the same hull zone. Yes. But yeah, when the starboard shields go down. Yeah. Yep. That's good. That's good. And this that defender is in range. Takes one. Oh gosh. You guys didn't see that, fortunately, because it's a picture. <laughs> but the uh, the side moon just uh, had a tremendous navigation error. Yeah, and uh, collapsed. It, 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 it seems like yeah. it collapsed off the base. Was shaking in their seats back. Yes, yeah, everyone was. <laughs> yep. it, the whole ship was shaking. Yeah, yeah. Oh my yeah. God. like it was being hit by some orbital bombardment yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah. And the only thing else I hit is this phantom. Okay. So you did hit that. Okay. All right. So now you take your damage. Okay. So you redirect them, I guess, into your starboard. Yes. Yeah, the and one then one four one. face down. Four face down. So now I start doing this. So one, two, three, and four. Okay. I think I'm just going to go straight here. Now I need to decide if I want to place my ignition token. Because the Simon is flying at speed three, yeah. so he's going to be out of range. I'm pretty confident my Architons can kill that. And I think I'm going to want other arcs to shoot at, so I'm actually not going to place my ignition token, so I can actually fire freely. Because, mm -hmm. for those that don't know, if you place your ignition token, you have to fire with uh, the ignition token first if there is a valid target. So, I don't want, I want to have the option of doing normal shots out of other hull zones as this Simon flies around. So, before you roll, look at the... Oh, yeah. Oh. Okay. okay, so, I'm activating the Simon, as you can imagine, before it possibly dies to these escort ships. 
<clears throat> it's a squadron activation, so I went ahead and threw out a boarding party, which... Uh, with a squadron, with his squadron token. token. His yeah. yeah, with a squadron token. And, and not the dial of dial, we used with three squadrons. And a squadron token, uh, I gave the boarding party and... and exhausted all exhausted three of my defense three tokens. tokens. Yeah, you basically can spend with the boarding team yeah. up to a squad value of three, so all of my defense tokens now are exhausted on the onager before this shot comes in. And so now Saber Squadron is coming in, and we're trying to uh, eliminate one of his... And he wants to get an accuracy, and then uh, we'll go from there after, because he'll have All two right, more activations. So rolling a blue dice. It's a hit. It's, it's hit. not what you wanted. What? I'll just take it on the front. Right. You don't play this with Yeah, let's see. Fight uh, controllers does not help against shit. Yeah. And you can only re-roll this one if you rolled a crit. Yep. Okay, that's it. All right, now you got two more squads so you can activate. So now I want to go ahead and try to kill some defenders. Yeah, kill some defenders. So what's your lowest defender right now? I have one on two health, or one health, actually. It's right there? Yeah, so I don't know if you guys can see this on your screen, but my furthest away defender, next to my furthest away Arctan, has one health remaining. And there's Hellrunner one away from uh, That's a phantom, and she does oh, not she... get the phantom back. Oh, that's right. Yeah. She's definitely one away from that one, and that one's one away from that one. Yeah, but Tempest also does not get Hellrun's benefit. That's right. Yeah. It'll just be your two interceptors to beat that on the back of the Quasar that could, which he is in range to activate, by the yeah. way, guys. He can bring the interceptors in to get the Hellrun in there. Yeah, let's go ahead and go. So, interceptor on the left. So, interceptor coming in, and right behind see, the what's Phantom. What's the on this one? Oh, that's mine. Yeah, it's yours. So, wait, all you have left is that, that, and that? Yeah, I only have three defenders left. You can kill three defenders. Dang, okay. Well, we'll go with that one for one. So it has four dice to begin with. Yep. Just need one damage. And got it. Got it barely. Yep. It's still a horrible roll. Yep. Oh my goodness. And then you get one more activation. Yep. And. I do have a defender on three health here. Mm -hmm. That's the defender closest to the screen you guys are looking at there. That's three health. Yeah, we'll go ahead and go work on that. So maybe other interceptor in. You won't get Howard Runner benefits, but you will get some Swarm benefits. You can get a reroll. He's got plenty of friends helping out with that guy. Okay. Okay. And oh, oh wow. so this there is we go. Finally figured out how to fly. Good yes. 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 <laughs> well, Didn't even get any benefits. And now for the shot. Buster's got me double art oh. at close range. Okay, so we need to so, which one do you do, side shot or front shot first? Well, let's do the side shot first. That would be three blue and a red. Okay, and there's nothing else magical about this? Yeah. Yep, no modifications, no re-rolls, so just straight up. Okay, side to front. Yep. And, ooh, yeah, not bad. Three damage. See, what do you want to lock down? I can still choose to burn these, which I probably will. Um, of course, I might not well, like that one. I'll wait till your big shot comes in. Yeah. <laughs> I, I do not want you to shoot that. I'm stopping the salvo, so three damage. Mm -hmm. uh, do I want to move it now? You could potentially stop me with more accuracy, just more dice. I'm going to burn my redirect. Redirect to my port side. Port side shields go down, and my front shields go down to three. Is that one? Oh, yep. And now for the big one. So redirect is gone, and now you get to start with, you get six red, two blue. It's final armament. It's fantastic. That starts off. So six red, two blue. Yeah. And again, just straight up, no modifications. But... Oh my gosh. Wow. No accuracies, yeah. but an in Oh, that's I wish good. I had an accuracy. Because that's yeah. a brace, right? Yep. If you had one accuracy, you would have been... You, oh, my gosh. It's still... It's still going to be devastating. It's still going to be you devastating. Can't stop the crit. I can't stop the crit. Yeah. Oh, my. I'm going to stop it anyway because you have XX9s. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Nine. So 5. Nine. Nine. Yeah. Yep. Oh, I am. So bracing it to 5 and salvoing and burning everything. Okay. So first... The first two damage cards are dealt... Face are up. face up, and face it up. is going to be two. Yep. Yeah. Front shields down. And two face up cards. Two face up cards from X6 nines. 
So shield failure, your opponent chooses up to two of my whole zones, each show zone is one shield. I only have one left, so my back shield goes down to zero. Yep. So no shields. That's probably as good as you need. Yeah, injured crew choose and discard all my defense tokens. I have none, so uh, those are actually both very yeah. tame. Yeah. Then I sovel back with two red and a blue, and since you shot out of the front, this is going back into your front, which is unshielded. Yeah. There's your... And I've already spent my sensor team and my intel officer, so I can't do that again. Still good though. I will stop your... What do I want to stop, actually? Do I want to stop anything? I'm actually going to uh, use my uh, weapons battery text to turn this into a crit. Three damage. Three damage. So if I brace it... Brace to two. To two and redirect one. Yep, yeah, you'll take one face up. One face up. There's nothing I can do about that. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. still got one shield on your starboard. Right. Do you want to drop your starboard shields? Uh, or do you want to take it on your port shield? Uh, starboard. Starboard? Yeah. Okay. And then one face up. One face up. Here it goes. Survey says Ship. You cannot uh, spend exhausted defense tokens. Okay. Oh. Oh. That's going to be painful next turn. Well, you will be able to refresh them. Yeah, I will. The problem is, is. If only I wish I had a ship that could get a good shot on you now. Yeah. <laughs> With your exalt, you can't yeah, spend those. That's his bad because next turn. No, he'll be able to refresh those. Come along, it's V three. Turning as fast as you can. Yeah. No, no, I got plenty of room. Yeah. And the good thing there, you got out of the double arc. I mean, once again, does he have any double arc right now? Currently. Well, he has me double arc, but I won't be there. Oh, next turn. Okay, uh, going with my damage marked Parkitens. I'm going to be doing a side to front in the quasar. It is a navigate. I'm taking the dial. I'll be using it. Um, range on this actually doesn't matter. Uh, it's in range of red dice. Okay, start with three red. Okay. Okay. Oh. Pretty good start, but it's also one of those where I can't really modify anything. Slave turrets. Okay. I was kind of hoping for an accuracy, but I'll take that. Five damage. Yeah, takes what was going to be two. Yeah. So I'm guessing you want to brace it? Yeah, I'm brace it. And brace to three, redirect yeah. to your port shields. No, I don't have any port. Well, yeah, I got the shields. You don't have any starboard shields. I don't have any starboard shields. I don't have any shields. So you'd be taking one face up. Yeah. If you do all of your defense tokens. Well, that's not a good thing. Yeah. Well, see, three. Yeah. One face up. Because otherwise it's going to be three. It'll be three, first one face up. Yeah, yeah. that's what i got to do. Okay. And the face up is injured crew. Choose and discard one of your defense tokens. Uh, let's discard the shield one. Yep, because you only have one shield left on the back, so that's not going to matter as much. Makes sense. Okay. And then this Arcatins, I am just going to fly away. Staying at three, getting extra click at the zero. Next. It is a squadron, imagine that. Uh, tax, taskmaster Grint will add another squadron token there, so it will allow me to activate five squadrons, uh, which I will do. And I will activate uh, five squadrons here, which now, since there's only one defender walking down one squadron, um, I yeah. will move. He is still grabbing your phantom. Yes, so I'll, I'll probably yeah. be moving these three to go and engage and attack. Yep, try to kill him. And kill it before it gets away. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's what you'll right. be seeing. Which, which one are you sending in first? Another phantom? phantom? Yeah, because you get two dice. Right, sending in a phantom, yep, it's two reds. I have two health left on this guy, by the way, and two shields on my starboard I can read right to. Oh. Oh, triples! Oh, 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 triples should not be It's the triples! Yep. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, how long is no. No. Yeah, nothing will help. Yeah, Outrunner does not help that. Oh. Okay, well, Tempest here. Tempest is a bomber, so his crits okay. count. Mm -hmm. You get one black. There are blanks on a black dice, so I would like to see a blank. I would like to see a... It's... 
lebih Redirect to my starboard side, goes down to one. I'm assuming you shoot me in the back. Yep. yep. And, oh, yeah, yeah. and how runner can throw something at you. Yeah, how runner can do it. Or how she doesn't even need to move. You can actually shoot with her and then move because she's already within distance one. That's true. I will do that then. I will shoot with her. And so one blue. 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 Oh. Yep. Uh, you that with Sloan. Yeah, that's right. For hit. hit. So I'll spend three. my other redirect. So that will... Actually, no, I won't do the redirect. I'm going to do my evade. Have you re-roll that. Yeah. Oops. I'll do that first. So, so hit, then I'll redirect. Okay. So starboard shields down. Okay. My redirect's no longer helpful. Yep. No. Where would you like to move, Kyle Winner? Uh, she's gonna move over here, screaming in. No, they'll be in two of those rooms. Yep. No, they can't move. They're no, they're gonna, they're gonna shoot this thing. Yeah, they have to shoot, they're shooting into the thing. So then, yeah, they do want to walk. Yeah, she, she's gonna move over here to help Mahler. Yeah. You know? Mahler's the only one that can help. He can, she can help right now. That's what he said. No, actually, these two both are. No, that's a phantom. Oh, it's a phantom. Yeah, so she didn't help the phantom. So she's gonna be fine. Yeah, she's gonna so, this defender is, I'm pretty sure, is dead. I'm okay. We'll see. Yeah. All right, so now we need to finish up squats. So we've got Mauler and the Phantom. We're going to do the Phantom first. Yeah, this defender has five health. So this Phantom actually knows how to shoot. Yeah, so it'll start with four and then get one more from flight controllers. Yeah, that's one of those. Uh, there's some farm boy from Tatooine who knows how to hit a womp rack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. yeah. There's a 10 meter. Oh, no, one hand. And, <laughs> and then one from flight oh, controllers. Oh, I got flight controllers. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, two, yay. Right, so this kind of goes down to three. Okay. Get, is this, is and that's all. Then Mahler. Mahler. Yep, then Mahler gets three normally. Yep, three normally. Gets two. Two, you just need one more. So you got one from Hellrunner and one from Flight Controllers. Yep. Just let it go first. Right? Okay, flight Controller. No. Nope. Nope. And then Hellrunner. Got yes. it. Yes. All my defenders have been wiped out. Oh. That was, I have to say, I'm very disappointed with my defender play. This is very fortunate. Yeah. Yeah, you outran your... I outran my, my carrier, is yeah. what happened. Yeah. Yeah. So now you have the choice, and you shoot up, well not a choice, I think you have a medium range shot into my back. Yeah. Plays arms. Yeah. And that's, uh, was it two, two blues? Two blues. And then, yeah. I got a front shot. Then you got a front shot, yep, into the side of my under... Front shot into the honor girl. I think I'll do the front of the honor girl. Uh, I'm going to check range. Yeah. Is it going to be blue? Uh, not in range of the honor oh, uh, It is blues, right? It is blues. Yeah. So, yeah, we will be the So, first, the guy who's running away. Two blues. How blue are you? Ooh, good crit. crit. So, there's nothing uh, you, you, are, you are bigger than me, so I'm going to burn this, reroll both. Reroll both. Oh, good. Because you can't, these are worthless, right? Those are worthless. Yeah. So if I get two, two, two hits, I'm dead. Two hits, and there's a crit. All right, now there's a crit. So that might be all we need right there. But I'm not going to tell you what it was on the floor. Nope. Actually, um, actually, actually, no. Got it. He's dead anyway. Yes. Go oh, away. Wait, sir, take something. Could have run away. And then the side of the. Then I can get front to front. Yeah, it's going to cross that. Yeah, the front side. Front side. Front side of the other one. Three blue. Yep. yep. Nice and I get uh, full defense tokens. Reroll the crit. Three hits. So at least a crit. Yep, so I'll redirect to the front. Front shields go down, side shield goes down by a one. Oh. Uh, then I'll do the back. Back shields down, side shields down. Right, I took that from uh, I guess the bombing run you did on Yes, yes. Yeah. Or no, I think it was a long range shot from the center. Oh, that's right, that's right. Okay. And that's it. Now to see if my quasar can be reduction of the error. I don't think it's going to matter. Oh. Yeah, you, don't have to, you don't have to redirect anyway. 
Okay, so if you have your brace though, which is important. Are you filming me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, camera's on. Yeah. Camera's on. I know. I know. Yep. So okay, so here I am locking in my two move. I'm just going to try. Can click it both, right? Yep. yep. Both yep. One and one. Yep. So I'm going to click it both. See if I can miss my fighters. I do um, not. Yeah. Yeah. Landon. So I didn't think so. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So is that uh, Hell Runner and? But again, it's not going to affect you that much because it doesn't, matter where you it doesn't really matter where I put them. Everything's moved. Yeah, I'm just... And they've done their job. Yep, I'm uh, in trouble. If you know my unmarked Architons, it is a Navigate. I'm going to discard it to get rid of my Navigate Raid. It has side to rear, but since I was able to maneuver it where I can't get this unshielded side because I am crossing his line barely. So he is going to have one shield to uh, take to absorb some damage. Five health left on the quasar. Right, start with three. And I did get an accuracy, but I'm not going to kill you. Slave Turrets. Because uh, I, can't, I can't modify these, so it's two damage, one on the shield, one face down. Yeah, yeah there's nothing left. I'm yeah, not I'm loving the race. And I'm not going to spend it. Oh. Well, you, yeah. No. You couldn't spend it anyway. Yeah. Well, I couldn't? Because well, I, I was locking it down with an accuracy. Oh, no. That's going to be a weird game. It, yeah. It's going to be close. Yeah. Uh, I have to go straight uh, and, uh, and do the turn at the end. No, no, because I was raided, but now that's gone. Let's solve that for next turn. Now let's leave it here, because all that we got left, no more squads. I've got my Gazanti, it's a nav. He's speeding it to two. Oh, is he going to try to some Would be helpful. Maybe he can get it, actually. I don't know if I can move it far enough, actually. Getting it out of... Uh, yeah, no. Extra click at the one from the dial. And then if you want to go and try to do that move, we can do that live here. The, first, the one move that matters is moving the station away. Yep, which the station actually will hit that. Yep. So the station gets sucked in. So I do not even get the benefit of getting any intel. This thing's just going to slide over and touch and stop. This debris field gets sucked in, and these guys will just move here. They'll get sucked in next round. All right, we'll be back at the start of round four. Yep, start of round four, guys. This is going to be tight. Simon used reinforced blast doors. So it now has seven health remaining, and my Onager has eight health remaining, no shields, no defense tokens, because the boarding team sabotaged my defenses and forced me to burn through them all to live from my shot last round. Quasar has no shields with the brace remaining and only four health left. Then my Architons and my Gazanti are basically accelerating and getting out of dodge. Going to warp. Going to warp, yes, going to warp. Uh, engage. So, and then a smattering of squads that I hope will not matter. Um, so, yeah. Hopefully, if I don't roll horribly this time, I can drop the Quasar and maybe get more damage on the side moon. We'll see. It is a concentrate fire. Side to front, front to front, and these are all close range. No obstruction, so still, no Ramadi. This entire game I have played, Ramadi has not happened. I will take comfort in the fact, though, this entire game you've only rerolled one dice with Sloan, no accuracies have happened with Sloan. Mm -hmm. So our commanders are actually not being effective on the battlefield right now. All right, so close range shot it is two red, two blue, and a black. Far less firepower when I don't get to fire the big gun. Now I wish I would have set down my ignition token. <laughs> I thought I was going to have a double arc in the assignment, but... Buster maneuvered expertly. Oh! Alright. So now I need to. Actually, I do have a double up the Simon, so I don't want to remain, so I need to kill you outright. So. I can't rely on you pulling a structural, so I need to do. Um, I need to do my con fire here. 
So I'm going to do my concentrate fire. I'm adding in a black. That's a hit. And then I will use um, weapons battery text to turn this into a crit. And that'll be it for the quasar. Just barely. Just barely. Got it. Yes. Quasar goes away. But barely. Oh my goodness. I'm glad I had that. Now I'm glad I had the confire. I was like, man, I wish I had a nav. But I'm glad I had the confire. Why not? Otherwise, it wouldn't have. That is huge. That makes most of the squadrons unavoid. Yep. And next, we have side the front of the Simon. The Simon, like I said, guys, has seven health remaining. No shields on the front, no shields on the starboard, but you can still redirect to the port. Um, fortunately, we still have XI 7. We still have your Intel officer. So, the Intel officer and still have my sensor team. Which I need to do something. Man. This is what, I mean, I got my six damage on three reds. So now it's, yeah. the average is coming back around. So, I'm going to spin this, sensor team this into an accuracy, and then weapons battery text this into a crit. And I'll Intel out. Well, before all that happened, Intel officer, you brace. Yeah. Um, that's the, I'm not Intel officer. That's stupid to do when you're redirects. So. Brace is obviously Intel officer, and then doing all those shenanigans to get three damage. Okay, so one. I can put one in this side. Yeah, you can put one in the shield. One, one shield. Yep. Let me take a face up and a face down. I'm guessing you're not burning your brace. Uh, Anyone just take one face up? I'm burning the brace. Burning the brace. Yeah. So one face up instead. Power failure. Your engineering value is reduced to half. Rounded down. Oh, real quick, uh, we're, we're, we're close to a sort of close error free game. Yes. Because of this ship thing, this faulty circuit, could I burn it? Uh, yeah, it doesn't. Yes. Okay, good. Yeah. Okay, good. Just making sure. Uh, oh, the faulty countermeasures? Yeah. Yes, because this is not exhausted. It's green. Oh, okay. It's green. Yes, green. yes. yes. Green. Yeah, because you do have faulty countermeasures. Yeah. So, like, if you were to get shot against this round, but you're not, right. you wouldn't be able to spin that. Yeah. But okay. this actually isn't going to hurt too much because I have nothing else to shoot you with. Right. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to run over Saber. I might die from a thousand bee stings. Here. I think I got out of your double arc. Yeah, you do. There's no way you just come back. Okay, so I activated Sun Moon, of course. Squadron. Dial and we use squadron dial to activate this uh, beautiful squadron that's just set up perfectly to go ahead and shoot to the side and start softening up this onager before I give it a broadside. Yep. And uh, see yep. if the broadside's enough. Yep, and I have no defense tokens, no shields, eight health remaining. And what are those? Is that interceptors? Uh, yep, it'll be Saber Squad, so you get one. A little, uh, I jump the gun, I roll the dice, got the hit. Yep, uh, so Saber Squad is a hit, Saber so squad. seven health remaining. Yep. And then... Three blue and a red. Yeah. Side two, whichever arc you want, doesn't matter. Three, I have three no shields. And a red. And there's no, no special magic on this. No, I don't have any more barding bardings or anything like that. So I needed some uh, crits. Oh, <coughs> no crits. That was, uh, and no reroll. No reroll, so just two damage. I got lucky there. Because yeah. you actually had the potential Mm -hmm. To do three doubles in a single hit to kill me outright. Yep. Five health remaining now. Yep. And I'm actually in range of a few squads in the squad phase. So yep. I don't know if you can kill me in the squad phase, but you can definitely still nip one dime me a bit. Moving at speed three. Yep. Uh, Are you ready? Yep, we're ready. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm moving at speed three, locking it in. Unless this is really, really wide, I'm going to lock in with room to That spare. was. Yeah. That's Imperial Flying. Very. Very close. Whoa. Rich running. You guys see that there? Literally. Yeah. Now one thing I am going to check. I don't think the shield dials count for going off the board. Well, it does. I think it's right on the edge. Yeah, they're right on the edge. Yeah. Wow. So. That was, uh, yeah. <laughs> Nicely done. Nicely Not done. Team. Navigate, speeding up to three. Waterway! <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Did you do double like, what's that? I'm just gonna basically gonna use this gravity rift to slingshot me. <laughs> You're still with that. Yeah, gonna be outside of two, right? Yeah. I might have dropped my speed uh, just out. So. Just out. Yeah. Uh, 
Okay. And in the squadron phase. Uh, Arkitans. Yeah, he says. Oh, that's an right. Yep. Yeah, okay. It is a navigate. <laughs> I may be dropping my speed to make sure I can make this turn. Yeah, ooh. Oh, that's that right. That's weird. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, yeah, but you've got a navigate. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I am going to drop my speed, though, to two. Yes, I could have flagged out the bad guys. I'm not killing these things. They still have full health. Yeah. It's not worth doing it, flag. That's the squad phase. Yeah. So now we get to do check who's within distance one yeah. to do some shots. Yeah. So we got one, two, no. It might just be one this turn. Oh, nope, two. You got two. So two. Yeah. One's in the end. Yep, so you got uh, Mollard Mythyl and TIE Interceptor, so they're both going to be blue dice. You can just roll it here, we won't go to the trade for this one. And Mollard Mythyl moving doesn't. Uh, doesn't affect ships. Doesn't affect ships? Yep. And let's see, it's blue dice. Blue dice. Just one so blue first blue. First blue, Molar Mithril. It's a hit. Four health remaining. And second blue, Interceptor. Interceptor. Oh, it's a very accurate miss. It's very accurate and still can't use Sloan because I have no defense tokens to spend that on. <laughs> so, yep, so Buster has a bunch of movement to do and then we'll be back at the start of round five. Start of round five. Honor only has four health remaining and about to fly into the swarm of bees that I cannot get away from. There's nothing I can do about it. And uh, I do have a long range rear to front shot into the side room two reds. I mean, I'll take it as a pot shot. I don't think it's going to be worth it. I might actually just do some flacking to try to clear out all this chaff. Um, Maybe. I don't know if it's even going to help me at all. So, we'll see if I can survive, and hopefully Buster rolls really bad on all of his bee stings he does. i got a whole bunch to do. I know you point out when I'm attacking. Uh, it's an engineering, heal the damage card, so I'm back yep. up to five remaining, and then I'm just going to flag out the front. Alright, so starting flagging out the side on Saber Squad, that only has two health remaining. One damage, and I don't think that will do anything I can do with attacking squads, so... Saber's still alive. Okay. And then if you could measure, I'll need you to let me know what I have in These two are one, and the other ones are what's well, close range. Oh, then I think the yeah. first row. Yeah, I got the whole first row with my close range dice. So we'll start with uh, um, yep. Register interceptor. Yep, so interceptor close to your screen. How many? Two damage. Two damage. One. Yep. Then how runner. One damage, so you could scatter that. Two. Or do oh, you want to scatter? scatter. Yeah, I'll scatter. Yep. Uh, Phantom Squad. One damage. Another two. And then Mahler Mithril is one damage. You can also scatter with him. Oh, yeah, I'll scatter. And then the back rank, we'll just go reverse Tempest Squad. Nothing. Okay. Um, Interceptor Squad. One. Okay. And then the Phantom Squad for one. One, there's nothing I can do about this. Yeah, this Maybe squad phase is gonna one. suck. <laughs> so what's the command for? The command is squadron. Squadron. Which I'll take a token. Yep. And then we have. Uh, he does have any long range. We're just gonna do this quick roll in here, guys. One red into my back. Oh, Very accurate. accurate. Yes. Okay. You love that. And nothing just come in squad wise. My ship's over here. I'm not even going to bother with them. Let's go squad phase. Yep. So I do know that I'm just going to go straight down there now. Yep. So, all right. Saber. Yep. Yeah. Simon's just ridge running. He's right on the edge. I, amazing maneuvering. So, all right. So, Saber squad. Okay. Oh, wait. Any blue dice now? Blue dice and red dice and for red your red phantoms. Dice. Oh, yeah. So just two blue for, or wait, what the pins do? Two reds? Two reds. And one blue for everything else? Yes. Okay. I think you're going to get everybody, yeah, everyone's, yeah, everyone's in. Okay, we'll start with uh, Saber. Saber, which is one blue. One blue. Okay. Nothing. Yeah. And then? Um, regular Interceptor. Yeah, regular Interceptor with one blue. Yep. Nothing. Wow. These are accuracies, by the way, guys. He can reroll the crits, but yeah. these are accuracies. Um, How runner? How runner? 
One hit, mm -hmm. four health remaining. And then... It's a phantom, phantom? two reds. Oh, Nothing. No. You can reroll the crit though with, yeah. with uh, Got it. one. Yeah, yeah. And then here, that's another interceptor. Yep. Got it. Yeah. Down to two yeah. remaining. And then, oh, I'll save the bomb. Um, that's the other phantom. Uh, yep, other phantom. Yeah. Okay. Uh, reroll the crit. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, one health remaining. Okay. And then the tie is more missile. Nope. No. No. And then last but not least, the bottom. Uh, I need Tempest to do it. No, I need Tempest. Tempest to do it. I just want to make sure that I'm doing that. Yeah, okay. So, uh, yep. <sighs> Come on, Tempest. Hit crit. Yes. That's it. So Onager goes down, and even though we have mo one more round, there's not going to be any more shooting or more, no more death. Yeah. We'll go to points, but I can already tell you it is going to be an Imperial victory. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we actually send a, uh, a rescue ship over to, uh, to, the, the, to get Ramadi, and we invite him to join the true Empire. successor of the Empire. Yeah, yeah, it should, it probably will accept. Yes, the yes. Celestial Sojourners. Yes, Sloan Celestial Sojourners. I'm pretty sure are, are getting the victory. We'll be back at the post-game interview. Alright, so here is the final tally. Um, I didn't go over points here because it's a clear victory for Buster and for the forces of Sloan. Um, but I will calculate them when I get home and do the editing, so you'll see the points coming up here. And Buster, why don't you go and uh, give me your thoughts on the match and how it went and everything. Wow. Uh, I have a tremendous, tremendous amount of respect for that on uh, the, the firepower there. As you're all, you're all probably watching this and on the edge of your seat going, is the carrier dead? Is the carrier dead? No, oh, he's targeting the ship, ship again. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. And, and so I'm dancing for joy each time that happened. Uh, but also a little nervous toward the end because he hurt near took yeah. out my big shot. Almost got the Simon. Very, yeah. very, very close. Wonderful shot. Yeah. Very, very close. And then that one shot of six. Mm -hmm. That was a terrible shot, is what on, it was. On one inch. <laughs> um, no, it was a horrible shot. I would have killed him if I, when I did my big shot into the Simon, it was a piss poor shot. That was no, the earlier one. The earlier one is what made me decide to make the shot. Right. If so that actually was a horrible shot. It yeah. was a horrible shot. Yep, you're because right. Because it made me change targets in my mind. Yeah. Yes. If I would not have done that six damage triple red hit, I would never would have targeted the Simon ever. Right. Um, but because I did that, I was like, well, I might have a chance to drop this big ship. Mm -hmm. So it made me switch targets and rethink my strategy, which is was one of the main downfalls of my, my play. Because I didn't stick to my plan. I, I had a plan, but I did not stick to it. And that was, uh, I kept second guessing myself, and that was the problem. The, the, main, the main issue I had was sending my defenders in too early to just get slaughtered by your squad. Yeah. So, and then having my carrier there to actually, to actually command, act, them command them before the squadron phase. And not dropping your carrier like I planned on immediately. Mm -hmm. um, when, when you moved the carrier and it got out of range of my that one, Ignition. That was, yes, oh, that, that, that was huge. That was just like, you know, we were saying millimeter difference, me be able to take the shot or not. And then I should have just committed to take the shot the next round. When they say football is a game of inches, I would say Armada is a game of millimeters. millimeters. Yes. yes, definitely. Yes. Millimeters. Like, many times. So, so it, again, just, and then that, like, next turn, like you said, I should not have shot the Simon with my big shot. I should have shot the carrier. Mm -hmm. And I would not have shot the side moon if I didn't get that six damage hit right. that I did. I think right. maybe I had a chance. Yes. It was a false. I should have stayed on, stayed on target, quote unquote, focus <laughs> yeah. on what my plan was. Well, and my ignorance actually led to that. Uh, I, I did not realize that the uh, the start of the ship phase for the reinforced forged holes. Yeah. Blasters. I did not realize that was the start of the entire turn. Yes. I thought it was the start of my ship. When the ship. Yeah. And so I did not use this when I should have, which yeah. I would have, because yeah. I knew that I was close. That's right. one reason that I went ahead and did not burn my your brace, uh, my right. brace intel officer. Yep. Because I knew I was going to be able to get two of those back. At some yeah. point, you know? And and I did not do that. And because I didn't do that, which was a mistake on my part, again that opened up. Yeah, because since he had damage on the hull, I was thinking I only have to do nine damage. 
And I can do that with this shot. But if Buster would have remembered and, and known how to, and known how to use it, it yeah. and healed that damage, I would never even consider taking that shot. Right. So it was one of those just... But ultimately, I shouldn't have been even... Fo I should have just stuck with my plan and got rid of that carrier. Yeah. Because that's what was doing all the damage to my right. defenders, taking right. them out, and... Because if you'd taken out the carrier, yes, my son would might have taken your honor ground. But then you would have had all those defenders and at least one, if not two, of your smaller ships. Oh yeah, you, you actually, that. what killed my Architons yeah. was your carrier activating the squads and shooting it. And shooting Both it. my Architons would have been alive. Yep. Yep. Both Architons would have been alive and then still engaged. And, and still engaged. And you would have been hunting down my, my wounded. Well, signed with wounded. my Architons, yeah. for sure. In, yeah. in the back rear arm? Yeah, in the rear arm. Right. Which, yeah. Yeah, you, you actually own them uh, with your. Actually, yeah, you have fire department. Yeah. 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 At the back. So, so it, it was one of those where, and another big thing was just every time I played Armadi, I never. I never no Armadi <laughs> happened, ever. I never had an expected shot. <laughs> never had an expected shot. Oh, it's so frustrating. Um, but it, even shooting through ships, never had a chance to shoot through a ship to get an expected oh, shot. So it was yeah. just, uh, yeah. But man, it was so disappointing that when I did make the choice to shoot the sign with my big gun, it was such a horrible roll. Terrible damage output. Yeah. And I had to use every single trick I had just, I think, to put four damage on me. Yeah. It was yeah. the worst roll. And that, that is a downside with the way that I built this one. A lot of times when I, I was trying to a test with this, with the uh, center team and the weapons battery techs, to set up an honor here before I can guarantee the creep goes off every time. But in doing so, I did not put ordinance extras on there to reroll my black dice, which is normally what I do. Right. And then I also usually put Gunner Chief or Nillian on there where I can swap out dice. Yes. Um, okay. So, um, I know a lot of people put Link to Relation Towers on there, but I like XI 7s. I just, I just love not letting my opponent redirect more than one damage. They have to take it in yeah. the face. Yeah. You do. That is awesome. That is, yeah, it is. I don't know if, yeah, I didn't have any ability to do that with this ship. You did. Yes. No. Instead of XX 9s, you could have put on X. XI sevens. No, 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 I'll take XI sevens. Yeah. I'll yeah, take yeah. the two criticals in. Yeah, yeah that was very bad. Because yeah. that actually worked. Really work. It did work. Well, yeah, yeah it, the crits I took didn't matter. Right. Uh, well, you could also drop spinal, take away a red dice, do X. Yeah, X sevens, that's true. Yeah, I would, I would, the spinal thing, one like, die. it's extra die, I don't know, I think I would go. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. So, so the ability to stop people from being able to redirect, basically, is better than an extra is die, an extra die I think, right. because. It just lets you ignore one of their defense tokens, so you don't have to worry about blocking that. Who cares if they redirect it? Exactly. So, yeah. Now, I'll tell you, the highlight of the game yeah, for me yeah. was that both of my boarding parties actually executed. I really did yes, not expect that. Yeah. So my boarding parties were able to exhaust or spend, spend all yeah. three of the auditors' tokens, yeah, so that means they started was, using them. I had to discard them. Yeah, this card. Boarding was teams was effect, very effective. And, and even my... And I uh, and I didn't. She yeah. actually was able to get rid of one dice at short range, I think, for one of the shots. No, it was uh, it was or, making me uh, uh, she actually gave me a raid. Raid. I know we got a raid at least. Yeah. So that was yeah. That was good. So both of my raiding, I just was I was interested. I wanted to try it out. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, and they worked. Yeah. I'm not a close in person. Uh, you know, when it comes to, I like sniping at range, I like yeah. sending my fighters in to do the, the close in work. Yeah. But I actually developed, I had a fleet to sign me, this, this is a sniper. Yeah, yeah. And sure. I needed to bring it in. Close. Close. But you need to bring it in okay. close with the honor. So it actually worked out. Yeah. So, so it worked out. Yeah. It was great with the boarding parties. It's perfect. Yeah. yeah. And so. boarding parties we've tried before, as we've seen in the Battle of Scarab, as Ben really hate to bring that up, where Vader was stuck in the hangar bay, swinging at everybody that was in the hangar, very angry, could fly away and mm -hmm. take out the. Uh, Intel from the ship as a food of and and I do. The boarding parties are awesome. I do like them. Mm -hmm. um, I I think they should be used more often mm -hmm. than we do. I think all of us here will probably be using them more often. Yeah, we don't use them that much. No, I think we no. should. I mean, I think it'd be really interesting. I got a couple ideas in my head that I want to use them as. Yeah. There's some really good named ones. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Named characters. If you have a Republic fleet and you're running a what is it a two? What is it? Venator 2? Oh, Venator 2. Venator 2. You're running a Venator 2 with Squadron 5. Right. You put boarding and teams on it. you don't have a boarding team on it. 
Yeah, yeah it's, it's this you're one. <laughs> well, <laughs> no, no, no. But, but by doing it means you're giving up your flight controllers and you're yeah. giving up boosted comms or it's maybe paying your base. Yeah. You but, but you could play a vendor or two that way if you wanted to try something different. Um, most things you face are not going to have five defense tokens, no. but let's say you're facing down a Starhawk, which can have up to six, mm -hmm. and the same thing with the Super Stars, are going to have up to six. Yeah. If you have a warning team on a vendor, you can just roll right up and just yep. spend five of them and then hit it, and then you have to then force this big, yep. beefy ship that you're scared of and has to start discarding its defense tokens. Exactly. So, or if you can actually get lucky enough. If your opponent really doesn't know what's going on there. Art has already and spent some, spend and, some and, and then you can discard, because it's spend, it's yeah. not, so you can spend exhausted ones with boarding teams, so if you can set it up, that's why Sloan is so good, Right. because if you actually, um, uh, you could, you didn't have, you tried with Saber Squad, but you could do the boarding teams to exhaust and then send squads in and then try to accuracy and spend them off. Yeah. Yeah. You only had one in range to do it. And it, unfortunately, it got a hit. Not unfortunate, no. <laughs> a hit. It's still good. Right. But that is a combo with Sloan, is do boarding teams and then hit with Sloan squads. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Definitely, yeah. Good yeah. Definitely good combo. Definitely good combo. Now, one thing, this is actually interesting, you know, one positive takeaway I take away from this is because uh, Buster did it without, he, because he saw it just on his own strategy planning. But my fear in my head to defeat an onager has always been you have to bum rush it and get to the side. Yeah. And in, I think Empire is uniquely placed to do that because Star Destroyers can go speed three. Yes. They can take a hit, and then you're in the side. Mm -hmm. And then the Onager goes down. And this was, this was kind of like a preview watching Buster play of me for my tournament fleet because the ships are the same. Star Destroyer plays our Gazanti. That's right. I'm just running Defenders instead. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to be facing Onagers. Mm -hmm. And it just allowed, it allowed me to see in practice what my theory was of how to defeat an onager. Right. And so, now potentially, you know, I could have played the, played the onager more to the corner and tried to really focus around, but then it's just, we're just going right at each other and who drops first type of thing. Right. right. Um, which, who knows which way that goes. Right. But if, if the onager is doing that, then it's not focusing on the quasar right. and the gazanti. Mm -hmm. So. That's almost, almost been worthwhile to slip my feet. Uh, I'm not big into splitting fleets, no. but maybe, I don't know, it'd be worth a Yeah, well, a in, my, in my head, when I was thinking is that if I face an Arnold fleet, I'd be tempted to face my Star Destroyer one way, right. face my Quasar and Gazanti the other way, and force the Onager player to pick which one you shoot at. Right. And then... And flank it. Flank it, so... Because yeah. yeah. there's enough firepower with Quasar and it's... And it's squads. squadrons to take out yep. just about anything that comes in smaller. Yep. Yep. And of course you're <laughs> Star Destroyer. Star Destroyer. Yeah, yeah. Star Destroyer. Because <laughs> if the Onger chooses to turn towards the Quasar, then it just presented its flank to the Star Destroyer, and then it's getting run down. Yep. If it chooses to go after the Star Destroyer, the Star Destroyer can take the hits, mm -hmm. while the Quasar they can, is free to move in and send the squads in. So mm -hmm. it's a difficult it's difficult to go up against an Onager, but I think if Theory-wise, I think the foundational theory is the way to do it. You just have to force it to turn one way or the other, other and just come into the plane. Yeah. Now, talking on a rebel side, because you said the imperial side, the best way to do this, um, the MC-75 can do it pretty well. Come on around the blanket. Yeah, anything can speak through it. And so good to Liberty. Yeah. yeah. But Liberty is basically a destroyer, if you think about it. But, um, so those two could actually do it, too, for rebels out there who want to Hey, what do you mean only Imperials can do that? <laughs> um, so being a... Uh, yeah, I'm just saying they're uniquely suited, because they have right. a lot of ships that move speed 3. They have a lot of fast ships. Yeah. Um, so, it, it can be done. Can one, be done. one thing you don't want to do with an Onager is go slow. No. Right. You want it when you're facing an Onager. You need to get in its face mm -hmm. fast. Yes. So I guess the question is, Ben, Robert, yeah. what is the max number of large ships or ships in a 400 point game. Is there a max number? No, as many as you can fit. You fit so you could actually put like two hammerheads, two Princess Leia ships? Uh, yeah, SCR 90s. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. And then uh, one big capital ship. Yeah. You got the points for that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 You, you see that a lot, actually. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's actually pretty simple to do that. Yeah. The, the, the hammerhead and the um, CR 90 might be, I might think, on it. Oh, no, you, you can have them fit them very well. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Because, yeah, I mean, those four ships could flank. Well, shoot, all five. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you yeah. see that. You see that yeah. in Rebel List a lot. A big yeah. ship yeah. with a whole bunch of men with three to four small ships, mm -hmm. and the small ships harass while the big ship takes the hits and deals yeah. out the damage. That'd be interesting to see how something like that would go against the uh, carrier fleet. Yes, because it would yeah. force the carrier fleet to have to 
Who am I? Am I going to try to chase the small ships that are flying around? Yep. Do I want to focus on the big ship? So, yeah. Yeah, because those small ships, though, we've all been there. Those small ships with just three dice on the side, but the three red, right? Yep. Oh, gosh. And those three, three dice? They can, can do a lot. Or they, can do, they, 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 they can do a lot. And, yep. and the way that you even do it better is, you know, if I, you know, I was planning, like, with the Arpitans, nabs, because I am not confident flying them without a nav. But I know a lot of people run them with con fires, so you're getting, you know, more red dice, and then either slave turrets or needs armor to get five red dice. And if I did Ramadi right, I'd be getting six red dice <laughs> and then the instructed shots. But anyway, it's. Be, man, it was. That's yeah. a lot. I mean, yeah. that's pretty much what the. Simon has. Service order. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Good yeah. style. And, and it's on a ship that's less than half the cost. Yeah. So, yeah. Which is pretty impressive. Yeah. And again, red, you know, a lot of ships, they rely on the blue and the black dice. If you're sitting out there in red, you're not going to get. You're not going to get shots back. No. Yeah. That's right. All right, guys. Well, this is actually going to be the last bat rep of the month of June. This will be coming out on. Uh, we're coming on a Sunday. It'll be coming out tomorrow on Monday. I want to remind everybody that the giveaway, the uh, final day to get your answers into all of my questions, is going to be basically Thursday morning, July first, when I wake up um, to check for all the comments and everything, and then generate the winner for the Venator expansion pack. And the question for this bat rep, uh, we're going to finish. The talk about the ships and the size classes, and there's only one left, and that's the Super Star Destroyer. And uh, whether you own a Super Star Destroyer or not, whether you play Imperials or not, just give me your thoughts on the Super Star Destroyer. Um, what version do you like? You know, you've got the two prototypes, which I don't even bother running ever. Then you have the awesome executors. How do you like to outfit it? What basically god level ship do you like to build out of this massive beast of a ship? And uh, if you don't have a, an SSD and you always fight against them, maybe. Well, it's coming in some strategies to take them down. Um, for people yes. that might need help yes. on how to defeat the Superstar Destroyer. <laughs> so just give me your thoughts and opinions about the Superstar Destroyer builds, how to bring it down, that kind of thing, and that'll enter you in for the giveaway. And as a reminder, just one more time, that this Thursday morning, basically when I wake up, Central Standard Time is when I will uh, generate the winner and then put out the announcement video to announce the winner for the June giveaway. And Ben, how, longer, how much longer do you add into your tournament? That's a month. Month, all right. So we have plenty of time. There's plenty of lists in, in there. Yep. They're in the queue that I keep bugging Ben. I said, listen, you got to get your butt down here. We need a flag. And I uh, already sent Robbie. He's already got a couple of lists up there. So, yeah, we got to get Ben out there. We gotta get some practice. Yep. He hasn't seen everything that's coming out. I've not told him anything. Yep. Anytime you guys send any good news, I do tell him that or bad news. I do tell him that. <laughs> so that way he knows how his channel is going and how you guys are all feeling. So. Yeah, so keep sending those tournament lists in. Make sure to send them to Rob so I don't see him. Yep. I don't want to be surprised. Yes, but the email will be popping up here so you know who you send it to. Mm -hmm. And yeah, keep sending those in. I already know that uh, uh, Northern Hero has let me know that he's going to be there, so hopefully I can oh, right. set up so we can at least meet. Maybe we might see each other across the table. Yep. And if any of you other you, uh, anybody else is going to be going to the LSO, let me know. Yeah. And maybe we can set up uh, um, maybe to have a drink or something. You know, and just be like, hey, the downsides of challenges. Yeah. yeah. Downsides of sets up. So, yeah. so and hopefully I'll be able to see you guys there even just across the table. It'll be fun to actually play against you guys in real life if the tournament allows the, yeah. the pairings go up that way. So, uh, thank you, Buster. That was a fantastic match. It was thank you, so, thank you. Very, very close down to the wire. All my like you said, millimeters made the difference in a lot of different areas. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And until next time. Take it easy.